So we want to know the heat for complete combustion of this right here. This is going to be similar to something we did in class. It's actually going to be a conversion problem only. Because the Q only comes from reaction. There's no temperature change, there's no phase change, nothing. Okay. So what you're going to do is you say delta H for this reaction is minus 2877 for the problem kilojoules. Okay. The molecule of interest is this one. You look at the coefficient in front. I didn't write it, but it has to be 1. So you go per, just like we did on a previous problem, 1 mole. There's one here. Was this one 13 halves? This one 4, etc. Then you don't want it per 1 mole. You want it this many grams. So we're going to do a little conversion. You need to find the molar mass of this compound here, so 4 times 12 plus 10 times 1.008 from your periodic table, and then other mass, 1.325 grams. And this will give you units of just kilojoules, whatever that number is. Okay? Now, did you want to look at the other part of this problem as well? Oh, sure. The other part of this problem is just a slight variation. So, instead of giving us this, so I'm going to erase this, what it says is that there are 28.4 liters at STP. This is back in Chem 2A. That means when you see STP, you want to think this number, 22.4 liters per mole. STP basically means that this conversion is now valid. So all I'm going to do, it's actually going to be a very similar problem. I need to convert this to something I can use. So we're going to go like this. Erase all that part, leave the first part of the question. Now I don't have grams to mess with, I've got liters. So I'm going to convert this to liters. Uh, one mole for every 22.4 liters. Now I'm kilojoules per liter. And I specifically have this many liters, so 28.4 liters. Now the liter's gone, final answer will be in kilojoules again. Just a conversion, pretty standard, you're like, uh, it's your basic textbook type question for a delta H when there's only a reaction. Sometimes you'll have to do this when the other stuff is going on too. So you have cues and a temperature change and all that stuff. And this will be just one small part of a bigger question. Uh, and then the same thing, do you want to do the third one also? Uh, is it short? Yeah, I could say it quickly. The third part, it just puts it in a totally different way. That's the only difference. So instead of this, it says for the same one, again, it's 23.6 degrees C, 738 millimeters of mercury, and 12.6 liters. Now when you're given all this kind of stuff, I automatically start to think, hey, wait a minute, this is volume, this is pressure, this is temperature, oh, ideal gas law. Erase all this again. You're just going to work, I'm going to work right below here, and I'll say I need to know moles, right? I need to know moles. So moles is PV over RT. P is 738 millimeters mercury. What units do I need? Not that. ATM. ATM. So it's 760 millimeters mercury. And I'll give you these conversions on the back of the test. You don't need to memorize them. If you memorize them, you're just faster. Volume, 12.6. Is that an OK unit? Yeah. Volumes in liters. The rest, uh, pressures in atmospheres. R, this is a constant, also in the back of the test. 0.08206 liters, atmospheres per mole Kelvin. 
Uh, T, this, is this good units? 23.6. Convert to Kelvin. Got to convert to Kelvin. When you're doing multiplication or division, all uh, temperature units must be in Kelvin. In fact, if you always use Kelvin, you'll, you won't be wrong. Okay? All right. This is going to be moles. And you take those moles, that number, put it right there, multiply them, and there's your kilojoules.